I was very young, my dad was an aircraft electrician in the Ministry of Defence and he spent a tremendous amount of time teaching me about things that I would never have learnt in school. So when I had the opportunity in 2010 to join the Engineering Education Scheme Wales, I was incredibly excited. I got to work with a company called Huntley Healthcare Diagnostics, a local company in Cardiff. And we were asked to work on a project that entailed redesigning the Sonic Aid FM800, which was their current model of fetal contraction monitor. So within a period of about six months, we developed a, a solution to the problem. And in 2012, I became the first female to win the UK Young Engineer of the Year award. Currently I'm in my final year of an astrophysics degree at Cardiff University and I also work as the technology translator for the Morgan Body Lightning Laboratory in Cardiff University. So we mainly look at lightning protection for aircraft and contribute to making safer aircraft when lightning strikes. So as the technology translator um, I mainly bring in the business, so I bring in clients, we're doing a lot of testing, so at the moment we're looking at fuel system testing on aircraft, which is quite exciting, we're putting 300,000 volts across jet fuel which is a little bit concerning. Yeah, I deal with quality, so I'm current, currently developing a quality management system for the lab, which is something we, don't we haven't previously had. I think what's essential about the Engineering Education Scheme Wales is it gives 16 to 19 year olds a platform to develop their engineering skills, something that they don't necessarily learn in school. Many participants of the scheme go on to study engineering, a lot of them here at Cardiff, which is great, but you know, other places in the UK and further afield. But even for the students who don't do engineering at a later stage in their career, at least they're more informed about making those decisions, which I think is essential. Wales needs 2,500 more engineers by 2020, the UK needs about 860,000 engineers. By that time we are in desperate need, it's important for the economy and it's great for their personal development. There's a lot of pressure for girls to maybe become doctors or lawyers, but give it a go. It's good money and it's a lot of fun, so you know, if you try the scheme, even if you don't like it, at least you know that but I think many girls would find a real passion for science, technology, engineering and maths and STEM subjects.